My selection this week is a classic sci-fi chiller from 1967, part of the BFI Player Plus's Britain on Film Strand. Directed by Roy Ward Baker, helming his first Hammer production, Quatermass and the Pit is a brilliantly creepy affair, the panic-stricken trailers for which asked, who are they running from, what have they seen, whom do they fear, before concluding that there are five million answers to these questions, and every one of them is a shocker. When a London underground dig stumbles upon a mysterious metallic object, Andrew Keir's Professor Bernard Quatermass uncovers some terrifying revelations about the origins and future of humanity itself. Prefiguring the themes of Stanley Kubrick's 2001, revisited most recently in Prometheus, Quatermass and the Pit worries away at ideas of race memory, hive minds and John Wyndham style invasion. No wonder it's proved so influential. The film began life as a BBC TV serial, the third in the Quatermass series, which was transmitted live by the BBC in December 58 and January 59. As with its predecessors, the film adaptation rights were snapped up by Hammer, who scored significant successes with The Quatermass Experiment, aka The Creeping Unknown, and its follow-up Quatermass 2, or Enemy from Space. Retitled Five Million Years to Earth in some territories, Quatermass and the Pit was adapted for the screen by original writer Nigel Neal in what's widely regarded as one of his finest and most elegantly accomplished screenplays. Oh, excuse me, sir, but that's not quite right. Oh, fine. Well, those houses were all abandoned years before the war. What an asshole. People just wouldn't live there. Some kind of scare. Scare? Kim Newman, author of a typically insightful BFI Film Classics volume on Quatermass and the Pit, described the script as perfecting the notion of the science fictional detective story, interweaving science, mythology, cult mysticism and religious legend into a gripping mystery thriller. For Newman, the film has an enduring power. Stay tuned to find out why.